Virgo, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind it is a general reading. Take only what resonates for you, Virgo, and leave the rest. Check out other signs in your chart as well, such as, such as your Moon, Venus, and Rising signs for additional love messages. I will be posting all 12 signs uh, today and some uh, was yesterday. Uh, we are in Libra season. It is the 8th of October to be exact. And this reading is for, well, the middle October. I do really hope all of you are doing amazing, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate your time. I hope it's worth your while. Um, I have switched the comments back on. You can leave one, uh, like, subscribe, share the video, or just simply watch. <laughs> so welcome to all of you new viewers as well. As always, I do shuffle um, initially, so you know what to do you can fast forward but i do so so that i can connect with those that are viewing even though it's not live i uh, pick up <laughs> i pick up the viewers usually so um i'm using the right away tarot deck uh it's a giant size i do love the size but uh yeah <laughs> It's difficult to shuffle, but I'm getting used to it actually. So, Virgo, the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is, I would say, it is well, it should resemble most Earth signs, especially if it's your Sun sign and, and Virgo and Taurus, perhaps, but it is that you know, being neat, being. Uh, accurate, having the eye for the details. This uh, could be uh, your focus at the moment. It is also ensuring, and I don't think anyone is better than Virgo, anyone. I have three very close friends with Virgo in their chart, a sister with Virgo in, 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 in well, sun sign, and uh, knowing that Virgo naturally make the most out of what they have, but that's not to say that's for all of you, but because you do so, Virgo, when it comes to abundance, by actually having this eye for detail where it might, you know, where others probably wouldn't be able to see the detail even, but making the most out of what you have and, and, and see building from four to seven pentacles, the extra few tweaks here is going to give you a reward. There could be a promotion, there could be... Um, yeah, new opportunity and um, abundance could take you places. So you are definitely going about your day to day uh, uh, the, the right way for you. That's going to lead you to the outcome that you are looking for. You are someone that is viewed as a, a catch for this person that is showing up in your reading. They could be a little bit younger than you, perhaps. This person could have Earth and Pisces in their chart. Now, um, this person, it's uh, they see that you are someone that, you, you are someone that uh, you are very calm, you very kind, you are very beautiful, you are always well-groomed, you are someone that make hard work look easy, even though it's clearly not. Um, what's pulled you apart, actually, it is kind of strange or ironic here because it's the lover. So it is what pulls you close or keep you together. It's also what pulls you apart. Um, it's possible here that uh, there, there uh, is a choice in love, a choice that was not made, right? And... Um, there is something about not having clarity around your person's situation here, about a clarity what to do. It is a bit of a sad feeling. They don't know if you love them because of the spilled cups that happened here. And, and they don't know if they will uh, reconnect with you. But when they think of you, oh boy, I mean, we have, of course, the son and the queen of pentacles. This is... It's only you, uh, Virgo, that can put that smile on their face and their heart, right? It is uh, putting a, sm a smile on someone's face. You know, everyone can even force a smile. But this is, 
a genuine love when they they regardless if they don't even smile because that might uh, that might be someone trying to hide it here with the moon right this is someone that could actually be an anxious type but they don't want to because they are a bit negative they are sort of here also a bit of the doom and gloom here they are like nah uh, they, they are soaking they are soaking about this or thinking about the worst outcome you know the moon is uncertainty and often fear it is that no, I shouldn't feel this way because, you know, I've already spilled the cups and now I have to take my time and, uh, right? This person could definitely have a Lee, uh, I see Leo, Pisces and Earth in their chart. I would, I would say that, I mean, most Earth signs, depending on your sun, I can't, I was actually saying that to, to, to my sister the other day. I was like, you, you're probably the only person that could ever handle like another Earth sign to in a relationship right especially when you have masculine feminine energy regardless of the gender here because i think that and i think that's with most signs otherwise <laughs> i think personally if, personally if i had someone uh and, and that could even be uh, it's like my my friend has a lot of virgo and we bicker so much i mean it's all love but <laughs> i don't have any earth in my chart so i will drive someone up the wall because um, I don't have my feet on the ground, right? I'm so messy, right? And, and, and so the two together. So I think this person, I feel that this person and you will have some similar, especially the earth here, I feel. And the way you move forward in a connection here is actually what keeps you together in a way. There's something here that also complement uh, you complement each other. It is possible here that you also have so if you're Virgo, there could be Pisces. Pisces and um, Virgo is the polar opposite, but actually they do uh, they do match very well together. It's a yin and yang in love. This opposite in a relationship. So that could be, you know, it, it, I would say if someone is fully earth and full, fully water, that could be, I think that's also challenging, but I feel here there is that right balance. Maybe you know, they have a moon sign, Pisces, or there is something about Pisces and Virgo uh, together here as well. And, and that it's sort of that, like you sue this person's fear about that love don't, it, like, it's like they have a fantasy about love that they feel with you, but then at the same time, their anxiety gives them the fear and they can be sabotage. And whereas you then, Virgo, you give this person this, you soothe this person's heart and with them to you, they give you that sort of, it's kind of a bit of a fantasy that is not really the natural way of you to feel, but together you, you have this sort of euphoria of feeling of love that only you two can feel. It's a very special kind of unique type of connection you have with one another. It's as if you are sort of, yeah, really is that yin and yang, I would say, uh, how you are molded together when you connect and you are connected. It's, um, it's almost like uh, you can't breathe without each other so it's that if you're not with each other, it's that longing to be with each other. But yeah, I see that here. And, and, and your person realizing that they do need you uh, and want you. However, something here has, I mean, with the moon. So we'll, we'll find out what's come up. Um, your person here is focusing a lot on oh, this went wrong, so therefore, well, you know, I can't really, you know, I have to take my time here to come back correct, or or maybe I can't come back at all, so, but I want to, so therefore, they are sort of moving towards you. Um, there could be, if you work with this person, or if you're sharing similar interests, or there's going to be, or you have friends in common, there's going to be a meeting. You will meet. Um, there's going to be a connection point here where you will have the same topic to sort of to discuss or it's not really to discuss. That's not the right word because I don't see that you work with this person. It, it could. This could also be that you're watching the same programs, watching. There's something, 
spiritual as well that could connect you. So it's, you, you could be watching that each to your own, let's say, but it's something about spirituality and you are connecting that you might not know that you actually are doing that. You could be planning to something in the future that when they are planning the same, it doesn't even mean that, oh, oh you're going to end up in the same place, but it's something, there's a journey there's a journey you are taking because you are, it's, it's a plan that you have, uh, Virgo. It's like, this is where I want to go. Some of you might have Gemini, Aries in your chart. Aries and Virgo is a good match um, also. But yeah, here I see, and we're going to come back to you, Virgo, is it's very much of a, and something that you decide, you say, okay, I know what's the best, next best thing for me. I know what's the next best thing. This is feeling so good. And that potentially uh, hasn't got anything to do with this person. But somehow, because of this next best, uh, next best thing that you're going to move ahead with in your life, Virgo, it's going to bring you back together. But you don't know that yet. So that's something that you'll find out. Now, in their feelings, see, they desire to start looking at these two cups. They desire that things start speeding up, but they don't know how. Because in their current surroundings, they know they want to get something off the ground, but they're in the moon energy. So they're like, I don't want to see. See here? And the sun and the moon as well could be resembling a twin flame union. You know, with the moon card, they are, they are sort of, I want to take action in love. I want to take action towards Virgo. I, I love them. I want to see what they're doing, but I don't want to see what they're doing. So they could be sort of hiding. Uh, also, they are sort of, I don't want to see because if I see what I don't want to see, uh, this is going to be a disaster for me, right? Then I'd rather live in an imaginary world, feeling that there might be a possibility to take action. This person here fears when they look towards the choice or the, what they want to do to express love, they say to themselves, it's sabotage, it's over, it's done with, there's no point. I do not want to spill over these cups too. So I better just keep looking at these spilled cups because they are spilled and I feel sad about it. But somehow they feel sad, but they're like, well, I'd rather live in this uncomfortable illusion and then thinking that I can take action. Because if I turn around, there might not be cops there. So this person is telling themselves that, okay, they have to go real slow because they know how happy you make them. And then if they, if, because they are such a negative mindset, they're kind of frozen. They're frozen in, in any type of action. So they're slower than a snail at this, this stage. But uh, rest assured, <laughs> with... Their feelings of this, you know, immense happiness they feel if they're with you or feel when they think of you, when even though it's an illusion, they rather go slow than sacrifice that this fear becomes this ten of swords, nine of swords. There's something they are scared of. They... But, but that's this, that's sabotage because you might say, well, um, scared of what? Um, it was, it, you could maybe say, well, uh, it was them spilling the cups. So, so it's, it's like this person is a sort of regret, but don't want to, don't want to think about any action, but they will because there is no other choice because this love here is bound to both of you it is in your hearts it is not um it is not a uh, type of fling feeling uh, or crush or this is a, a lasting feeling that has been there for many many years even if you are not together even if you didn't meet them you know maybe recently there's something about this is very sort of is not that feeling that you have for each other is is grounded even even if that's they have fear around it's this they, they they might have thought that with time so they go slow they get will get out of the illusion so either they will then know exactly what to do to move forward or they will say okay well 
this feeling isn't strong enough, so it's good that I did move forward. But see here, they are staying in this place. This place it could be for five years. They were the five of cups. It's a very long time. So who is is Virgo dealing with? Um, what is uh, okay? They have the moon and their surroundings, right? So yeah, see they are going to come out here. They, your person here, um, they are going to come out of this doom and gloom in a way because the moon energy never lasts the moon energy can be you know there's energy that follow you right this person i see that they can be someone that it can suffer from a bit of stress anxiety maybe it's something that they just sort of to do with their health perhaps or just the thinking they can uh, get themselves in a, a feeling so they could definitely have a lot of water in their chart and then they don't even know why they got caught up in this uh, way of feeling and when push come to shove and they're sort of wow what what, what, what would i've been doing why why am i here why am i so slow i need to speed up i need to speed up I, up i got i got places to go uh, and that place is virgo so with the ace of wands things are turning around they, they have this new initiative they feel creative again they have a spark this person could be maybe an artist they could do something creative as well they could be someone that do go in and out of uh, a bit of that sort of creativity and, and and that also yeah so they could be in the five of pentacles there is that feeling of the left out they lost they have left themselves out in the cold so they also feel here that it's that, oh, well, there's been this mind games going on with with me and Virgo. What is this? Is, is that sort of five of swords is, is, is sort of saying, oh, you know, I want to start a new beginning, but now I don't want to go go towards Virgo because, you know, this this happened. So they're still a bit in this temporary is it temporary uh, feeling here. Now, yes, yeah, seven of swords being very strategic, right? So... See, they are stuck on having this new beginning with you, stuck on coming forward, but they are still stuck. This person here, right, they have difficulties with actually communication. This person might be someone they need a drink to, or they need to be in a certain setting to be able to act. They need to, see, they need to be in a certain, it's almost like they need to have a hype around them to be like, oh, you go now, you go, you go. This is the right timing. Maybe you in the past were someone that was like taking the initiative constantly. And if you're not, they are here, you know, they are sort of, okay, now I'm going to take the lead in love, but they could sabotage it by saying, oh, they look for two seconds. And, and if they don't get the reaction they want, they are they disappear, right? And that's how they sabotage constantly this connection. And um, there could also be, I see this person here is, see, they're constantly in a sort of fear of, they're like, okay, I'm going to do this. This is a new beginning, but I'm going to, I'm going to go towards Virgo here. I'm going to, this could be an Aries. This is what I'm going to do. But they are, They, they, they're very impatient let's put it that way if they were if they didn't let their call like when it comes to this connection they're like oh okay yeah i'm gonna just you know this is a place let's say if they're there you're sharing a social media platform or something if they don't really see you like their picture or if you don't they don't see you there within the first five minutes they're like, okay, I knew it. I'm going to go. They do sabotage themselves because they're extremely impatient when it comes to putting their heart on a sleeve because they don't normally put anything on their sleeve. So that's the problem right there. And then they're highly sensitive at the same time. So they are like constantly um, sabotaging for themselves here. And because they are with this moon energy, they can be very sneaky because they are sort of Oh, okay, I'm going to take action in love. I'm, okay, I'm ready now. And they, they create a scenario in their head and then they sabotage it. So, you know, you might be the only person that can understand this person's ways um, here, Virgo. There is something about them that is very, like you, like you don't, they need, you, you will, you are able to handle this person without 
for overreacting, I would say, or, or take them with a grain of salt. I think that you have seen this person's cycles over and over. This person, you are someone that is very soothing to them because you don't um, overreact or you are someone very grounded. You don't change your approach. You don't change anything because of their reaction. So it's not many people that can handle this person because, I mean, they are very unpredictable. That's an understatement. Very, very unpredictable. <laughs> but they do love you and that's the action they want to take here. Now, Virgo, in your surroundings with a high priestess, you are choosing here to keep your emotions to yourself, keep following your intuition, keeping an eye open, especially intuition open. This Knight of Wands here, you, are, you know that they can sort of swing by at any time. Now, I would say you're going to get a lot of attention from this person. This person here, I mean, they they are someone that are very good with giving attention. They like to be seen. They want you to see them. They want to give attention to you. They are very much like that. They could be a, a bit superficial. That's their love language, right? I see that you, Virgo, you desire here that there is a transformation, a transition. Um, now... Either way, I see that you are saying here, Virgo, you know what, to hell with it. Either way, I'm going to have a great path ahead of me. E either way. So, so there's something here you're saying, well, no, I'm not going to... Uh, in My inner happiness, my inner world is great. There's nothing that can ma make me feel bad at this time. But there is an anxiety when it comes to this person. This person has a... Yeah, this person has an anxious way of being, of being unpredictable. And because they are unpredictable, they cause, um, they, they spanner in the works here and it's unnecessary. So if that you, this person could be, see, yeah. There's something that they're doing. If this is someone at your work, or someone that is can be in front of you somewhere. There, it's not their ego. I don't really see the ego. That doesn't mean it's a good thing necessarily. It's something that they do. It's something that this person is about to do that is a, definitely not a good idea to do that. They are, they are doing something out of fear, but it seems the complete opposite. It seems that they are blatantly, and it could be as well, well, the action speaks louder than words. They do something to completely stir up the connection because of their fear. But, you know, nevertheless here, there is something that they do even after you give them another chance. Right? Um... I also see, I mean, and I see that a little bit this week, actually, um, something isn't ready. And um, sometimes it is better to move slow. It's better to move slow than haste and, or, or to follow uh, when there is resistance. And I think that's where your intuition comes into play, Virgo. It's that... There is no, so this person might not follow their intuition. They are following fear. So they are like, well, I only take action in love. And they might get this sort of, oh, this is a good day to do it. Um, they could see you get a lot of attention, for example. And they see you get a lot of attention, Virgo. And they know they are sort of, oh, Virgo is mine. I need to show them that they are mine. So I'm going to do whatever it takes then. And they care more about they doing something to show that you are theirs. So it's something about... Uh, that sabotage is really this is like a prime example of making something really complicated when it doesn't have to be because it's lack of communication because someone don't even speak there is just some kind of action but the action is um, describing the person's state of mind rather than the actual feeling so it would be better if they just stay away <laughs> right uh, it's better if they stay away because someone here also could have financial issues and they could have a lot going on and they could see here. Um, okay. I 
because I'm trying to I'm trying to see here if this has to do with the party situation because I don't see this either here. It's also about choosing to invest in this love. You're dealing with someone that's very immature in love, very immature. Because here, there is, see, there's a choice in love. And I feel it's on your side, Virgo. There is a choice in love. Now, this could be with a twin flame, a ten of pentacles. This is where you go from the nine of pentacles and to the ten of pentacles. I see for many of you, Virgo, you could have a, a decision in love here that you actually don't see coming or don't plan to come. This could uh, enhance someone to you where they have been constantly running havoc in your life and you still have been giving them the time of day. And it could be this person here, very similar uh, traits, it looks like. Then you are, when you are realizing this, uh, it is something about you are sort of, and there's a new person here. There's another person, it doesn't have to be a new person. There's another person here that is going to be illuminated and you are sort of seeing that, right, right. Now I see why all this happened, right? I see why all this happened because this is what I want. And there's one person here, you'll be like, how did I even think that it was possible to get what I want with this person around me? How did I even think that? So it is that you are very realistic in your your real life. But when it comes to love, there is a person here that have dumped their illusions on you uh, in love. Whereas you don't really follow kind of these illusions here. So in your feelings in your feelings, someone is going to give you a lot of attention. This person uh, could be new or, again, uh, some for some of you, there is another person that will be illuminated that could be in your network. And that could be that unforeseen. So someone taking action in love where you normally would be off. Nothing is better than should be shown love from this person, even if you don't see you together or there is something here. There is a person here that will shower you with attention and love and, and there is a strong union. But there is something here that's going to arise in your current surroundings. Intuitively here, you are sort of seeing that, oh, I ne never looked, up, looked at this person this way. I'm changing roads. I'm changing roads. So because you're changing roads, that's going to change someone else's roads, right? Then you see here that it is that, oh my goodness, if I would have stayed on that path here, I mean, gosh, I would have to deal with this conflict all the time. I don't have to do that now. So I'm cho choosing another road. There is a new opportunity with someone of an air sign that you will follow and uh, it's going to be the right yeah, the right step for you, the right path for you more so. It's it's unforeseen, but it's aligned with your int what you're feeling intuitively, Virgo, and it is what you have manifested. It is what you desire. It's just a completely different route or roadmap to, to get there. But you will be the one uh, making that decision in love, and you're very confident about that decision. You feel on top of the world, this is someone that, they could have Aries in their chart, uh, and air in their chart, could have Scorpio, Gemini. A few more, oh, there's uh, some mixed cards here. All right. What else for Virgo, please, for the most likely outcome? Yeah. The illusion you thought would not happen in love is going to happen. This person is someone you have in your network. They feel like a past life lover. The, when this person moves forward, when you and this person come together, there will be someone here feeling the despair of your choice. There will be someone you are not choosing or not moving forward with. This person that you're not moving forward with, it could be someone with Earth in their chart. 
the person that you are moving forward with. Uh, I'm picking up Aquarius. They got that. That should be somewhere in their chart. Um, yeah, somewhere in their chart they have Aquarius. There, because of this uh, choice as well, that is an unpredictable cho uh, choice, but it's more the timing, but it's meant to be. Yeah, it, there's something about uh, despair about that. Um, this could be because one or both of you have children or it has something to do with a child. So... It can be, let's say, if your person have recently got a child, but they know they want to be with you, right? It's something about a soulmate union meant to be, but the timing, um, the timing here could be tricky. So someone has to announce to someone uh, what they're about to do. And this here will cause a lot of despair and sorrow for someone. Because in the, in the present, there is a past life union coming together, but you think that you will not come together, but you are meant to come together. Somehow you will. There is a silent treatment that has been here that could be uh, released, but an ending, bring new beginning, a heartbreak, pain, coffee cup. So it could be that this person has sort of been on and off and very unpredictable. There is someone here that is very, very confusing. Very, very confusing, but could come in good. It's like, so usually when someone is like confusing like that is someone that, again, they are, they, they don't, in their own life, they are going through struggles and, and because they are rushing in towards you, right? They could bring that havoc. But I see that you are grounding this person. But I do find there's going to be a decision here between um, there's the person that you're moving forward with is not is not one of... There's a person here causing a lot of havoc in your current situation here. The person you're moving forward with, I do feel that is someone with a with air in their chart and we I'm getting Aquarius. What else here? Who who is a who is um Virgo moving forward with in love? The Emperor, right? It could be an Aries that you're moving forward with. This could be a twin flame union coming back together. It could be an Aries with Pisces in their chart. Someone is holding on to you, right, for dear life. Want, yeah, this is someone want to fight for, for you. They don't want to give this up. They feel that, or oh, if I get another chance with the Wheel of Fortune, this person could have definitely strong Pisces in their chart. Yeah. A past life union here is about to come together. A past life union here is about to come together. But something, someone has been trying to keep someone stuck. I believe it is your person. Someone could be used as a scapegoat. And they're making them feel like all over the place. Constantly battling something they don't need to battle. Your person's going to tell you about some abuse they've been going through mentally, right? They could also be leaving the mother of a child. They recently have a newborn as well. That is for some of you. And they know that it's... Like this person's pure intentions in love, it's it's real. They're very I don't see this person's kind of lying about that, but the timing is very bad. So you could be blamed for maybe sabotaging a happy family life, for instance. Like they don't want that. But there is something about them wanting to be escaping being a scapegoat and constantly being in this web, web of lies. A web of uh, appearing for something to look happy when it's not. Uh, they're trying to constantly go under the radar. This is someone here that suffers from a lot of anxiety and stress based on, this could also be someone around them that is saying that, oh, we're supposed to be so happy. This is the happy time of our life. But they know that it's the beginning of the end. There's someone here leaving. A third party situation is the beginning of the end where it, it is to come back to you here. So... Yeah, it's uh, it potentially giving someone a, another chance here. It's 
going to be an invite. You'll be very happy to hear from this person. Um, Virgo, it's, it's getting together here. It is saying like, oh, why don't we just catch up for a coffee? You are single, but you know when you see this person, you see they are also troubled. I see that you also advise this person, Virgo. I see that you are exactly what... Uh, this person needs also like you 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 don't you're not selfish in your um advice this could be someone you care a lot about as well you want what's best for them uh, intuitively you feel you feel they are coming forward you are you uh, you actually whenever you feel you could have a dream about them uh you are going to feel what they're going to say and it will actually happen uh virgo you could be quite shocked because they could go from saying, well, I just had a baby born or I'm, I'm very, very happy. Or you could see something and that's an illusion. It's not how it is. What you don't see coming is that they're going to release their love for you, um, Virgo. And it's, that it's not at a good timing, but at the same time, you are meant to be here with the Ten of, of Pentacles. You are meant to be, but someone here, they have to... Um, I feel there's a Pisces or Scorpio, they have that in their chart, or Aquarius. They are going to they're going to come forward here and, and, and share. Could be Aries as well. They're going to tell you that look, it was always you. I know I know I got held up here, but uh, you know, I know where I'm going. Uh, I know it's you. There's going to be a surprise message here but there's someone here due to a child they try to trap them but i see that they don't want to be that scapegoat anymore uh, i think they it's like it's an appropriate timing uh for someone but they are sort of this could be someone that's saying oh if you have a child you always wanted a child if you stay it, it could be i mean there's just it's, there's not nothing like I don't really see it. It's not something like here, like, oh, a dramatic third party, like, oh, this is something very obvious. I don't know. It's something that they are hiding their emotions for you. Virgo, they are, they are sort of, you know, they could, you know, intuitively that you, they have emotions for you, but they're hiding the emotions for you or everyone else. But they, when they do want to express their love for you much more than they are doing, even in the 5D. You are their Ten of Pentacles. You are the only person they want the Ten of Pentacles with. They have a very strange way of showing it. They are terrible with communication. God knows how they will get that across to you, but they will. <laughs> I mean, this person here is someone that will do something very strange uh, to show it to you or find the way to, to express to you, Virgo, but they will. Not in the way that you would expect, but... Um, so they could be very much under the radar. This person could have some Capricorn elements in their chart, but strong Aquarius here. I very much expect unexpected with this one. <laughs> Virgo, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful uh, week end and week ahead.